Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and trophy guide also and another game pass guide as well. And this time we are getting it all in the fantastic puzzle platformer The Pedestrian. Now this was developed and published by Skookum Arts and would usually be available for 1674 but was free on game pass from day one so slap a titty on that and enjoy. So we play as Mr. Pedestrian. Basically, we uh, played the game by rearranging and reconnecting public signs in order to move forward through the game and solving puzzles. Now the main objective is to be finding six components so our friend Mr. Not a Pedestrian can use his wacky gadget or something at the end. It'll all make sense soon. Anyway, as for achievements, there are absolutely none that you can miss. They are all story related, but the puzzles can be a slight ball ache from time to time. But you're looking at roughly around one to three hours to get this done, and it really depends on how quick you can blast through each puzzle. But I've done this guide in such a way where it's fast enough, but also slow enough, so you can keep up without annoyingly pausing it every few seconds. So, with that one all sorted and done, let us begin. And as you've seen at the very beginning, the game goes straight into it, and you can choose either a male or female character. I chose a female one because, to be honest, I reckon I'd look pretty damn good in a, in a tight mini dress, but... Uh, well, that's for another story. <laughs> that is for another day. So, what we can do then is do these first few bits of tutorials. Now, the game plays as a 2.5D side-scrolling platformer. Obviously, you move with the left stick, and then what you do is go from sort of each scene to each scene, as you can see. As you can see, scene. If you press the white button, um, you will come out of uh, where you are and then you can actually connect dots and move uh, sort of sheets of paper and other things around to manipulate things in order to get to the next place. Again, I'll um, explain that a little bit better when we get there. You can just press the A button to jump while continually moving to the right. And again, this is all just uh, a nice little tutorial, so just keep jumping, keep having a go. There we go, the, pe the pedestrian, not the pediatrician or the pedotrician. Because that would have been a game all about beating up nonces, and I think everyone can agree that would be a hell of a game. Beating up goddamn disgusting pedos. Right, anyway, this is what I mean. So you can drag things and move them around, um, and then you can connect the dots in order to open doors and use ladders. So as you can see there, we moved the um, piece from the left to the right, connected the dots which opened up all the doors for us to move on. And this is what we're going to do again. So again, press the white button. Move the bottom left up to the top right, and then just connect the dots, the two on the left and the two right there with the ladders and the doors. Now, of course, if you do um, end up making a wrong move or something, the dark black lines will be uh, just dotted lines, basically saying that you've done it wrong. So that's just in case there. So move this bottom, uh, the bottom piece where we are sort of into the middle. The top piece, move it down. So the two doors again are sort of connecting, and there we go. So connect the ladders, connect the doors, and then again you're pressing down, and then just pressing right. Now, in order to get to the next page, or the next piece or whatever, you've got to keep on holding the left stick, either left or right. It, you don't get there automatically, you've just got to keep pressing it yourself. Bloody lazy. God damn it. Anyway, those little dotted lines as well, you can actually fall through them by pressing down on the left stick, which we'll see us do right now. We'll jump up, press the B button to grab this key, eventually, and we'll grab that one, and then, yeah, so those dotted lines you can just press down, and we've opened up the locked door and moved on. Again, we're going to press the Y button to get out of this one. Um, move our piece over to the left, the one there, move it over to the right, which is just behind us, and then connect the two dots at the bottom... The two ladders on the right hand side and the two ladders on the left hand side. And that'll pop everything up. And then we can just press uh, Y to get back into it. Go down the ladder, pick up the key, jump up, go through to the next door. And then jump up, go through the ladder and then we can make our exit. Now of course these are all nice and easy, but they do get slightly more complicated of course as time goes on. So... Let's get out of the view, press the Y button, let's get out of this one. So, um, move the top right one just over to the left slightly. Um, it, we need it all the way over to the left, actually, so go ahead, do that one. Grab the bottom piece, put that just underneath the piece on the left. And then connect the dots, and then connect the dots all in the door. So the one at the bottom will go to the one at the very top. And then move it over so you get that perfect black line. That's what you need to open the doors and everything in order to be right. 
and then we should go. Now, for all those um, rearranging the puzzle pieces, I'm not going to actually be speaking through every one. Um, for the when it starts getting to about four or five pieces, I'll just ask you to skip forward um, sort of 20 or 30 seconds so you can see the finished product. If that is easier, if you'd rather do that than follow along, um, rather than me going put this piece here, put this put this piece there, yeah 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 yeah, gets a bit gets a bit boring, doesn't it? But uh, that is what I will be doing. Um, but there'll be a, a quite a bit more sort of complications with these pieces again, which will be about sort of halfway through the game. But again, we'll come to that when we get to it. So press the B button there just on the switch and that switch on the right and the left. And again, with the lever, when we jump down, press the B button, jump up to the lever on the right, press the B button, and that'll get things moving, going and flowing. Just like milk from the cow's titty. And when we jump down, we can um, press the Y button and then grab this uh, top left piece, put it down to the bottom right. And then we can just connect the dots so the two ladders are joining. And then the first, what we're going to be doing is heading down the left side ladder. Press the lever again with the B button. That, that is your main uh, source of interaction. A is usually to jump, B is to interact with everything. So... Down the right ladder, interact with the switch or the lever or whatever, and now you should be able to just jump up and love life. And that's the end of the game. In about an hour and a bit. Right, when you see these elevators, you can just press up or down on the left stick to move yourself, well, up or down. That's mad how elevators work, isn't it? Jesus, up and down. But yeah, left stick, or you can use the D-pad if you want, up to you. Uh, press the B button to hit the switch and then go up the elevator, of course. Try going left and you'll, uh, well, you won't get anywhere, which makes perfect total sense. So here we go then. We're going to start getting into the nitty gritty now. So we've got a, a couple of pieces. So again, what I would do is just um, fast forward it to the 10, 20 seconds to see the finished product and where everything's connected. If you want to do that, but if you want to follow along, by all means, go ahead and do that. So, when we have everything all lined up, go into the elevator, go ahead, move up, jump up the old ladder, and then up the elevator, go right into the door, press the B button there, turn on the switch, jump up, go down the ladder, and that is fantastic. So, you can see what I mean uh, with just the rearranging of the puzzles. We're not going to do it, uh, I'm not going to say every time, it's probably just easier to just skip forward sort of 10 seconds or something, um, and pause the video and copy it from there. Uh, and so for this time around then, if you uh, skip ahead to 9.05, that is where you will see the finished product. So just copy it and rearrange it from there. Again, if that is what you're preferring, just to copy it like a sort of picture. Yes. Boom, baby! Let's go! Little Welsh hunter in a nice little tight mini dress. Right, anyway, uh, grab the key, go all the way to the right, jump down, down the ladder, and then press the B button to turn on this switch, go through the door and jump up to go through the next door, and then jump up through the ladder, and up the next ladder, and life is good. But hey, don't look at my dress. You don't want to see what I have for breakfast? God damn, God damn no. Oh, hell nah. And nobody wants to see a bunch of uh, old man testes uh, flapping around in the face. Nah, nobody needs that. Anyway, jump up, grab the battery, and this is the first component done. Uh, but head down the ladder, and we need to um, stick it in the top, uh, right at the very top. So again, press the B button to stick it in. <laughs> stick it in with no loop, motor. Uh, and then just move on to the left. Oof, imagine sticking a battery in yourself with no lube, Jesus. 
Press the B button to switch on this lever, and we can now head through the next door of life. And all we're going to be doing is climbing up, pressing the B button to turn on the switch right there, and we're just going to wait, wait at the top for our little elevator door to open. See? So when you think all these signs are done by hard-working, real-life men or women, uh, no, it's literally kind of like a Toy Story type theme where these signs just come to life and do all it do for do do it all for us. So I'm happy with that. Right. So what I am showing you, if we go down the ladder, there's a little ladder we could just see just before the laser beam. Uh, try again, trying not to go into it. But we're now into a secret room. So pressing the B button to go up the switch, go up all these steps, press the lever on the left, and then jump down. And you can press the lever again. But basically, you can. We're an assortment of hats. Now, there are no achievements for any of these hats or any of these secret rooms, but I am showing you them just in case or, you know, just because I can. Because it's always fun to see me dressed up in a tight dress and a top hat. I'm like, I'm like Abe Lincoln if he was in modern times, because I could totally see Honest Abe at drag queen parties and that, you know? <laughs> anyway, hit the lever, wait for platform to hide my laser, and then move on. Nope, oh, do the jump of life. Up. Oh. Get your uh, drag queen honest Abe up, and here we go then. So, re rearranging again. So just go to 12 minutes 15 to see the end product. Right, there we go. So with that one done, give yourself the Mario boing of life. Go through the left side door and then boing yourself up again. Go through the right door, the only door there. Jump over, of course, try not to die. Press the B button to get the block moving. Drop that down, jump over, try not to die. Uh, <laughs> and then just go through the left again. Now, if you do die, the rearranged puzzle pieces stay the same. So there might be sometimes you have to rearrange it from the beginning to sort of understand or know what you're doing again, uh, just in case. But um, jump up there, going through the right door and grabbing the box, pushing that all the way down. And jump down, let's push that all the way through the right. And then we can jump up and that is our cue to exit. Good night, ma'am, sir. Uh, yeah, you, you got it, girl, boy. Anyway, grab the spring, again pressing the B button, and then you can press it on the B button on the plug, and then jump up. you got to jump up and press the B button to actually get it to connect there, and that is what will open the door, and that is how we can move on. Uh, right, so in this next bit, grab the key, drop down, and then leave the key there. Um, hit the switch. <laughs> that one that I was just by, but for some reason decided not to hit it. Hit the switch, there we go, and that'll push the key out for us. Then we can pick it up and go through the next door. And you see all these doors opening and stuff. It was so, if somebody was actually walking across there, they'd actually crap themselves thinking it was ghosts or something. But, uh, well, such is life. Right, on to the next area then. We're going to jump up. So jump on the cube thing, jump up and go through the top left door. And we've got this kind of like Tetris puzzle. So if you just head to... 15 minutes and 20 seconds, you will see the finished product, and can just go from there.
Boom, baby! Right, let's get Drag Queen on a stay out of here. So, drop down, go through the door, jump up the ladder. And go through the next door. And drop down the next ladder. God damn you, Tetris. You're boring. Grab the piece that we need. This is the second piece. Drop down the ladder and straight through. So, a bit of an easy one there, but um, again... Most of the time, it's a case of rearranging the puzzle pieces of the hardest part of the game, knowing sort of what to do and where to go and all the dots to connect and everything. So, what we can do now is just um, drop the piece and go straight through the right-hand side door. And we're into another sort of weird section. So, from here, if you just go to 16 minutes, 25 seconds, that is the finished product for these pieces. Run, run as fast as you can, drag queen on his dabe. Right, go down the left ladder. Don't interact with the switch for now, that's fine. We'll just go through the right door. We're going to grab the key, and then we're going to actually leave the key on the platform, where where the uh, sort of gap is uh, up between there. And now, now we can actually hit the lever and jump up. Go down the right side ladder, and the laser, of course, should be blocked now. Uh, but obviously, jump over to the right-hand side. Switch the laser off with the lever, grab the key through the left door, and let's make our fine-tuned exit right after we grab this block first. And there we go, this block will come in handy for actually jumping up. And you don't actually need to grab the uh, component piece there, we could, we're going to drop down and go through the left-hand side, lo bottom left-hand side door. So, welcome to another bit of rearranging. So, just head to 18 minutes dead on to see the finished product. So let us do this. So drop down, go through the left door, interact with the lever on top, and go back through the door, straight through the right door. And wait, wait, wait. Go on then, Honest Babe. Ah, Honest Babe, that's what a, that's what his drag queen name would have been. <laughs> Honest Babe. Right, jump up the ladder, make sure to grab the block as well. And there we go, we can grab the key, and we can push the block all the way back out. Don't think the block pushing was actually necessary there, but still. Um, so we, we could have just left that actually, we're just going back the way we came, down this time, and then up the ladder, through the door, grab the sp uh, spring before you leave, and we can now move on. Hey guys, I'm Honest Babe. Right, sorry, I'll stop with that now. Right, <laughs> interact the spring with the bottom plug, and then the one, uh, we can just leave the spring on the top left, grab the component piece, and then drop down the ladder, and we're going to pop that in the right hand side at the top. And that'll be two out of six component pieces done already, or one out of six, if you're not including the battery. Anyway, go back up, grab the spring, jump up on the block, and press the B button there at the top of the component. That'll open the door for us to move on. So that'll be our first achievement then, Subway. That's for completing that one. And again, all the achievements are story related, so you will not miss a ting. Um, right, so anyway, jumping up, we're going to grab the block, pop him all the way down. Spring his ass up like a spring ass chicken, and that is basically it. So every time we connect, collect a component piece, we've got a couple of those little pieces to do, and then we end up on this sort of subway train. Now this is a little puzzle. Um, you see the number on the left. We have to get that one specifically right. So the one on the left is uh, goes up in hundreds. The lever in the middle goes up in tens, and the one on the right goes up in ones. So a lot of the time, the number should always be the same. So when you've got 199, just jump up. Press the button there, and you're going to see this little cutscene before we can move on to grab the second component piece. But that's what you'll do. Every time we collect a component piece, we'll come to this area. We have to input a different number. And like I said, it um, goes up in hundreds on the left, tens in the middle, and ones on the right. So, you know, easy enough, but... Um, 
don't know, explain it. Honestly, it was more for me because I am a bit moronic. I know you guys and gals ain't, so... <laughs> I know you're all prettier and smarter than me. Which I'm fine with. So, here we go then. Again, try not to die like that. Again, if you do, for these bits it's not so bad. Just make sure to jump over the saws. Um, because, of course, if you die at this bit, it's fine. Um, but if you've been doing a lot of rearranging of the puzzles, and you've died, the um, key and everything that you've collected actually reset, so... It's obviously worth then just going back and yeah, rearranging the puzzles to what it was first so you know where you're going. Now, this is what we'll be doing a lot of as well. Putting pieces on top of each other where there are doorways. So as you can see, I've put a doorway on the bottom left-hand piece. And when you go back into it, you can actually um, just jump through it. Um, so again, that is what will be happening a lot. Again, it's kind of confusing first. But we'll grab the top piece, put it on the second, and when... As you can see, now I can jump straight through it um, and go through the next door, grab the spring, move on. Now, when you try doing that and there's sort of lines on the door, that means you can't go there yet. Um, so, again, just be careful with that. Uh, put in the string, springs on both of those. That will open up the door and get out the way for us. And what we need to do is just connect the dots here. So the middle right one down to the bottom left, middle left down to the bottom right, and then the two at the top. And then what we do is just go through this first door. We're going to drop down and go through this bottom door. Interact with the lever and then bounce on the springy pads. Um, try to avoid the saw as best you can there. Try not to die. And then interact with the lever. Drop down once again. All the way up. And then you can spring yourself all the way up. Or all the way down and spring yourself all the way up. So just jump up the ladder. There is a key for now. But we'll, we're going to have to be leaving that bad boy. Now we're on the outside, the wonderful outside where the sewers don't smell like poop and crap. And also aids and alligators and stuff. So heading through the left door, interact with the lever, and then we can just jump our way up. And then if we interact with that switch, that'll drop the key, and we can go through the left-hand side door now. M -m -m music's pretty hardcore, bro. Oh my god. Right, jump on the right pad over to the right for this first lever jump on the middle pad to get yourself a bit more springy ass action left pad to get your springy ass action more and move on right here we go then so let's just go to 24 minutes and five seconds to feed to see this finished product to feed this finished product Ugh. So that's that bit done then. Let us move on to the right. Interact with the lever at the switch. Go to the right. Drop down. So spring your chicken ass up. Now we can drop to the elevator. Go all the way down. So we can interact with the key and grab the key on the right hand side. Go up halfway. Go through the left door. Interact with the lever once we get our ass through the door. Nice picture of a beautiful man in the background there. And then just jump up through the right. And we can drop back down. Go through the door again. And this time we're going to drop down. Jump over, spring chicken up, interact with the uh, lever, and go th back through the left door. Go back down the elevator, and we're going to push the block all the way through to the right-hand side to end this sectioni. Saucy bacon. God, that actually sounds... That actually sounds really fit, actually. Bacon on its own is pretty fit. Chuck a bit of hot sauce on that bad boy, and you got yourself a deal. A sweaty-ass deal. So, put the block just on the ladder right there. Uh, that'll come to fruition later on, but now we can jump up, up the ladder, and go through the left door. 
go past the ba the saucy bacon sign. And again, these bits are kind of a nice reprieve, actually. Um, again, jump up, try to avoid death. Um, honest babe. <laughs> honest babe. <laughs> that's... Uh, I don't know if that's funny or just stupid. Probably stupid, but that's why it's funny. Right, um, jump up. What you need to do, grab the key, drop it down on the spring so it um, sort of blocks the laser but it, it, this is a bit of a time section so drop that down and then drop jump down at the sort of same time as the key it can be a tricky it, it took me um two two or three times to do this one uh, otherwise it's not too bad again you just start right at the beginning anyway so it doesn't matter how many times you die you will get there eventually so interact with the lever on the right drop uh, grab the key and then we can move on Again, there's not really many timed sections in the game, so that's pretty much the only one. I think there's only one or two, I think. But here we are to another rearranging, delicious part of life. I mean, it's not rearranging, but you just got to connect the dots. So just go to 2652 if you want to see the finished product. Let's go, honest babe, let's go. So, through the door, drop down, go through the next door, grab the key, always grab the key, and go through the next door, open up the door, go all the way up in the elevator. Honest babe loves a good shaft. <laughs> uh, interact with the switch there before moving on, that will get this elevator down so we can grow up. And through the... Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm just full of idioms idiotums today push the block through and of course tr drop that one down and then push it through the next door to be fair for a little sign you have got some epic strength mr honest babe and then we can there's the block now we can jump up grab the key and obviously go through the next door through the next door man all the way down and there we go that's this bit done Nice train, bit of saucy bacon. I really want to try that saucy bacon now. I'm in the mood for saucy bacon. Right, what we're going to do is go down the ladder when we get here. Go all the way down. And we're just going to jump over to the other side. Drop down again. I'll drop down the ladder. Going back into aid infected alligator waters. Open up the door to grab the next key. Which makes perfect sense, right? But there is a secret room right there. So in that room with the key, just go down the ladder. Hard to see the ladder, but this is where the secret room is. And we can get another hat. And this time, when we drop down, we interact with the two levers on the right. And that is how we get the new hat. Again, you can wear and do what you want. It literally makes no difference in terms of story or achievements. Now, you can be Roman dude. You can be little blonde, little blonde beauty or brunette beauty. Or ginger beauty, whatever hair colour you want. Blue beauty, whatever. But we are going as a pure cowboy Jesse from Toy Story, apparently. Or a crap Indiana Jones. Yeah, we're going to go with a crap Indiana Jones style. But anyway, when we get that, we can, dra we can go back up. We can grab the key and now push the block. And we can do it over to the left-hand side. So we can jump up and go through the door. And we can now go up the ladder. Jump and go through the right, sorry, no jump in, go through the r bottom right door there. Got to work off all that saucy bacon at the gym. Here we are, right, so grab the block, grab it over to the right. And obviously we need to push that down so it blocks the laser. So death doesn't occur. Push the blocks, again, make sure not to get, it's so easy. We'll just jump up, grab the key, push the blocks to the right and then go through the door and interact with the switch. But it's so easy. You've got to remember to push the blocks pretty much immediately, because if you go through it, the lasers will kill you dead. Anyway, when once we get here, push the blocks back so we can go back through, and then we can jump down and down. Go through the next door on the right. Vitus. I thought I said Vitus Vaginas then. Jesus. I was going to say, that sounds like a hell of a shop. Vitus Vaginas. Sounds like an Australian thing. Somehow, I don't even know what Vitus is. <laughs> if somebody could uh, let me know. Right, so... Um, spring chicken the block and then yourself up interact with the lever so the laser stops 
jump all the way down and go through to the next pit past the Vidas Vagina store. And here we are then, another bit of rearranging to do. But this is the first point actually again where we're going to actually um, put the pieces on top of each other and go through. So as you can see, we're on a door, so we'll be putting this piece on another piece and going through that door to grab a specific item we need. And here we go then. So once we've got everything connected up here and the pieces are in the right position, drag it down and then put it put our piece just so it's on top of the platform below where the key is. Again, there are plenty of times you can actually um, misjudge it and then you'll sort of have to uh, reset the puzzle by dying or something. Because um, that's what the arrow means, is where you will restart if you end up dying, etc, etc. So now put the piece that we were on, so the door is on the middle piece. And with that, we can actually then climb up the ladder and then go through that door Grabbing the block and then pushing it away because you still should have the key. Push it all the way to the left. Should be fine. The, this spring is not interactable. Now we can interactable with the spring with the switch on the right hand, left, right, right hand side. And that is how we get past this one. Um, grab, make sure to grab the spring of course on the right hand side. And you know spring chicken, cowboy Jesse, crappy Indiana Jones. Eh, you know... Because apparently Indiana Jones speaks like that now. He's like a cocky man. Right, anyway, we're just jumping up and heading through the bits and schnitz for now. And here we are, back at the sort of main sort of hub area, if you want to call it that. Um, drop the spring for now and just head up through the right-hand side door. This is where the third component is going to be. So again, and this bit can be quite confusing, so I will explain this bit. So connect the two dots there so the ladders are good to go. And then the one from the top piece to the third piece, sort of the top and bottom one. And then the one from the bottom all the way up to the top. And the two sort of um, in the middle there. So drop down. And then we need to go back out. So again, Y button to go back out. Then grab the piece and then put it just on top of the, of the middle piece where the key is on top of the platform. Make sure to do it on top of the platform. Jump through and grab the key and then drop down. Go uh, Press the Y button again and then grab the top piece. Uh, sorry, the middle piece and then put that back down again. And then we can go back down the ladder. Y button again to go back out. And this time, grab that bottom piece and put it at the top and put it more or less right on top of it so we can go through to the other side. And we can just press the Y button again to go back out. Now we need to grab the piece that is behind us now. So hopefully you've got a little bit of... Uh, yeah, there we go. So grab the piece that was behind us, pop that down at the bottom. And then we can climb down the ladder when we get back into it. And that'll put us at the other side. And that is how you do that particular puzzle. So that can be quite slightly confusing if you're trying to do that one on your own. But we're going to press the white button to go back out. Now what we need to do is grab the uh, top piece and put it to the bottom. But not so much that we've got to go through the door. So make sure it's just below our piece. Then we can put the piece that we're on on the bottom uh, and put that up to the top. Or sort of, it doesn't even have to be all the way to the top actually, just sort of in the middle so we can climb down the ladder. Now we can go back out again, grab the bottom piece, put it sort of at the um, top of the, top of the top piece. There we go, so top of the, it's weird calling it top and middle and bottom, but there we go. So that's how you do that one then, so grabbing it at the top piece, that is how you get through the door. Grabbing the third, little second uh, Tingo Scrat. And now we have that one. Let me just... Uh, okay, no, we're going, we're going down the ladder, straight through, all the way down the left ladder, and that is the next piece that we can put in. So that is the second one out of six. Um, done. So, so, so far, how are you enjoying the game? Good? Confusing? Awesome. It's going to get a lot more confusing. So grab the spring and go back down the ladder. And then interact with the plug there at the bottom. Jump up through the door so you can interact with that one. So the uh, plugs are looking like that. And with this time, we can now jump up and actually head through the ladder at the top. Again, try not to look up my skirt because you don't want old man cheesy balls in your face. Nobody needs that, ever. Right, interact with the, <laughs> interact with the switch. Jesus Christ. 
Well, time for a shower then, since everyone knows my deep, dark secret. <laughs> Cheesy bells. I I'm joking, that's, that's crisps, right? Yeah, <laughs> of course it is. Anyway, you've got the uh, number on the left is 748. So again, hundreds on the left, tens in the middle, and ones on the right. So just <laughs> interact with this little cutscene and enjoy. And think of cheesy balls like the cheesy, cheesy puffs. You know, what's it? That, that's what I'm on about, uh, honestly. And here we go then, let's keep going. So jump up and the up and the up, you cowgirl, cowboy, crappy Indiana Jones. Ah, uh, we are at the university, which for me, for some reason, was the most annoying. I don't know why, I think it was just me. Trying to jump straight into the laser, that's always handy. Wait until it stops and then jump up. Interact with the lever, of course, quickly as you can. Drop down. And then when there's no laser, jump up. And drop down. For some reason, I was being a bit of a... Being a bit of a pansy on this part, <laughs> but we're all good. And yeah, so these bits are nice. Like I said, they're kind of a nice reprieve from having to do all the more complicated stuff. But now we should, the rare achievements should start kicking in. Unless they don't for you, then I'm sorry, I just lied to you. So jump all the way down and go through the bottom left-hand side door first. We're going to grab the lightning bulb and a bit of rearranging. So just head to... 3718 to see the finished, finished product. <laughs> finished product, apparently. Running cowboy, ready to do some pushing. Oh, yeah, let's do this, man. So, push the block through the right. <laughs> That's apparently a cowboy accent. Um, don't know what, well, he must have had a stroke or something. Anyway, drop down the ladder and then go up the middle ladder. Go through the right door. And then just grab the box. Again, don't worry, you ain't gonna spring yourself up and die laser style. Not yet, anyway. Grab the box, push it over to the left so we can actually jump up and grab the bulb. Now we can push the block back and put it actually on the springy spring spring chicken of life drop back down the ladder and then go up the right hand side one this time and go through the right hand door on the bottom interact with the lever to put or the switch to grab this box now we can push it all the way to the left and we can jump on it and move on so again nice little bit nice little bits and schneits and here we go then. So already back at the main hub then. So we can just drop the light bulb and go through the next left hand side door. The one at the sort of top middle right there. And just jump sp springy, springy, springy. Go springy, go. And when we interact with the lever we can now jump up all the way and climb up the ladder. And jump up again. But before we're doing that actually we're going to be, there's a secret room. So before doing that, just to the right of where the spring is, is another secret room. So we can just drop down there for some reason. Again, that took me um, quite a while to realise that. But here's the third out of five secret rooms. Again, don't worry about it. There's no achievements or anything tied to it. It's just fun to do this time. So um, grab the lasers. Make sure the laser, both lasers are pointed at the box so we can drop down. Push the bottom box over and then it should sort of stack like that. Could have probably done a better job than I did, but such is life. Interact with the lever to get rid of the one laser. And then we can just grab both boxes. Push it over to the right so we can jump up. And again, whatever hat you choose is going to be awesome. So, are we just going to go with Viking this time? Or are we going to go with... No, we're going to... Apparently, we're going astronaut. We're going diving. As long as there's no uh, hairs down there, I'm up for any kind of diving. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was, that was gross. That was gross. Right, anyway, now we can go back up. That's the third secret room of five done. Go through the left, and for some reason, this was a bit of a pain in the ass for me. This particular one, which is why you see it's a cheeky uh, edit. So, grab the top one from where we were. The one on the right, make sure to grab that at the second. But the third one, make sure to grab it and put it just below so that the lines are still through the door. Um, now, you've got to line them up perfectly. Otherwise, as you can see, you can die a plentiful death. So... 
yeah, make sure to do that. But again, the bottom piece, make sure that the lines are through the door so you're not going through that very bottom door. And eventually, I will get this one right, which will be nice. As you uh, very patient, beautiful guys and gals can... Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to be wasting your time. Right, anyway, grab the piece and put it all the way on the left. But again, make sure... Uh, with this piece, put it down. Make sure to put this piece um, perfectly sort of on the platform so you don't fall off and die. It's, again, I've done that the first time. So make sure the platform is sort of to the left. Or the, or the piece is to the left so we can get on this platform and jump down. Now, what you're going to need to do as well, which me being a complete moronic of moronic sense, you've actually got to connect the docks um, to open the door. So you can turn the laser, turn the lever off. That switches the laser off, which is fine. And again, me being complete el moronicity. There we go. Just realizing. So press the white button there. Go out to the view and then connect the dots to open the door. And for some reason, I made an absolute Ball sack meal ass out of that worm. Um, <laughs> but it's, it, I mean, it's easy enough. But for some reason, I just went nuts with it. So that is the block. So we can just push them both down now. The block and the bulb, that will put that up there. Now we can grab the bulb, drop back down, and go down the ladder. And put the bulb in the right-hand side. I'm not sure if it's a particular order that you've got to do it in. But I've just done it in that order anyway. Anyway, jumping back up. Pushing the block. And we can just now... Um, just go uh, straight through the right door. That block will come in handy for us. Ladder. So, jump up. Obviously, what you need to do... This is a slightly bit of timing there. So, just put, push the laser. Nah, well, it's not really timing, to be honest. But you've just got to wait until the um, platform blocks the laser. And then we can drop down the left-hand side. Turn the lever to turn the laser off. And then push the lever back on. And then just go up through the door on the right-hand side. Again, I hope you're not watching my flappy balls through my tab mini skirt. God damn, I still look good in it. Right, here we go. So, just go ahead and go to 43 minutes dead on to see the finished product before we uh, carry on moving the door and such. So once you've got everything uh, set up and sorted like it should be now, grab the bottom piece that we are and put it at the top right one where the ladder is. And now we should be able to jump through and go down. Pick up the key, drop down. Now drop the keys. Very important you've got to drop the key there, otherwise you'll mess it up and you'll have to just restart this whole bit again. Jump up and then turn on the lever. Go back out, grab the piece with the door and put it sort of underneath us for now. And then we can go back down the ladder. And then press the Y button again to get back out. Grab the piece we're in and go to the left-hand side and put it to sort of where the lever and the spring is. Again, avoiding the laser. Try not to laser yourself to death. Turn the lever off, grab the spring, go to the le uh, right. And then we can just go through the right door. And what we can do now, um, you can just place this spring down for just a little quick second. Again, for some reason, I think I ended up being quite confused at this point. But again, it's very easy to do, but grab the piece with the door, and again, push it down, sort of uh, at the bottom there. Grab the key, and go up the uh, steps again. Oh, in fact, actually, make sure to uh, turn the lever off first, of course. Sorry. <laughs> Let me just not steer you wrong this time, if I could do that. So make sure that the laser is off, <laughs> and then we can drop down, interact with the key, and again, we're going to go back up. And just grab the spring on our way. Don't forget the spring of life. Don't be a spring chicken. Just be a big ch chicken. Damn it. My rhymes are getting disgusting in my old crappy age. Anyway, um, jump up. Press the B button to interact with the lever so we can jump up and stay there. Go to the next door. Delishimundo. Great looking uni. I wonder how many swingers parties have happened in that uni. Lots, because that's all that university and college is about in America, isn't it? You don't learn anything, you just bang each other, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Right, so interact with the two switches there so the springs are connected. Grab the block, bring it over, and we can go through to the left-hand side. 
Uh, sorry, just got caught away there. I've, maybe I've watched too much Pornhub with American College orgies. Uh, right, anyway, we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're just going to jump up on the spring and grab, <laughs> grab this block, put it on the next spring, turn on the lever, that will pop that up, and that will get us over to the next port. Port of life. Right, jump up twice, interact with the lever, uh, the switch, sorry, switch lever. You know what I mean, right? You know exactly what I mean. I'm hoping so anyway. And here we are at the train pad again. So 274, so left side twice, middle side seven times, and the right side four times. Nice! So let's go ahead and grab the next part. So drop down, drop down, jump over and go to the left and through the door. And what we can do, jump over the pad. I don't think it makes a difference. Just press the switch there and now we can jump up. The, the pad wasn't activated. And we can go back down through the ladder. And uh, yeah, we're going to be pressing the Y button, doing a bit of rearranging. Now, this is the first time that we've seen plugs. Now, we need to basically interact with and get all these plugs working in order to move aside. So the one on the left there, you just put at the bottom, connect the two dots so with the, we can drop down uh, in order to grab the spring. Um, connect both springs and that will connect that one up. And that will get the mechanism out of the way for us. Nice. So every time that you remove, like I said, if you haven't figured it out by now, every time you remove the dots, you end up uh, basically in the first bit that you were. Uh, so the original sort of starting point, again, which is what the arrow is. So every time you die or every time um, you move, remove something, all the things you've collected reset and you have to go again. But the rearranged puzzle pieces, like I said, do not reset. So again, just be aware if you haven't gotten sort of to that point yet so the point will be are oh, we're going to connect that one down connect the one from the bottom up and then connect the last piece to the last piece again and then just connect the dots again this is an easy this is a bit of an easier time bit of a reprieve as we uh, this is more of a tutorial level so make sure to connect the two plugs there go through the right door grab the next spring um, again press the b button and then jump up to connect those two and that is what will unlock the door Enabling us to move all on. Move on, she says, but I can't because no one else loves me. Uh, interact with the switch. That is just what will get the gate open. Again, somebody's just crapped their pants right now in the real world. Going, how in the fuck did that just happen? Right, trying not to go all the way to the left into the laser. <laughs> Instead, jump up, push the block over, and then um, interact with the switch so that it jumps in fact, no, we don't need to do that. Do that with the laser first. <laughs> That's a good point. So that we can just jump underneath the box and go through to the other side. Turn off the laser and that's job done. Now what we can do is just jump on the box up to the top and go forward. Somebody left a shoe right there. Uh, I'll take it. I need some new shoes. Screw it. Right, dropping all the way down. We're going to be grabbing the bolt of lightning first. Bolt of lightning. Right, so jump up and grab the spring. You have to do these in a particular order. So the first one is the top left and up to the very top one. So connect them ones. Grab the next spring to the top right and then to the sort of bottom left. If you want to call it that, the sort of bottom left. I'll explain more when we get to it. Press Y, connect the dots so we can um, go through. Connect the other dots as well so the ladders are nice and up for us. Now we can just go through. Jumpity up, jumpity up, go ahead, grab the next spring, and just go back through the door we came. And now place it on the very bottom spring first, jump up, and then on the sort of middle right one right there, so we can go back through the door. Now we're going to be doing some jumpity up in some ladders. Again, trying not to get my buns in your face. <laughs> grab the next spring, interact with the top one there. And interact with the uh, bottom one, the only two that are there, the only two springs that are there. Go through to the right. And then grab the very bottom one. 
and then grab the uh, middle one so that we've got the whole spring once again. So we can go back through the bottom side door and just pop them on these two sort of sockets right here. That's that one done. Again, can be very confusing if you're trying to do this on your own. So props to those. I wouldn't have been able to do it on my own personally because I'm mongish. Right, grab the bottom left one and just leave the spring right there for now. Uh, grab the very top one and then put that one on the middle left. Yeah, you got it. And then grab the top right one so that the spring is whole. Grab the spring and then put it on the bottom right. Jump up all the way up and uh, leave the spring there grab the top left one and drop down and gr grab it so it's basically whole again leave that one there and then interact with the top left so there's sort of top left bottom right grab the spring try not to uh, fall all the way down like i just did without the spring and move on to the right hand side again quite confusing but all good so we've got the spring we needed um interact with those two sockets and move on again and there we go. So, that, so that's that bit done already then. So lovely. So go through the um, middle left door, if you want to be calling it that. We're going to be grabbing the spring to take with us next time. So with this bit then, just go ahead and jump to 52 minutes and 10 seconds to see the finished product. So when we are done connecting everything up, grab the middle piece that we are on and put it all the way over to the left so that it is connected with the sort of top left hand plug right there. Right, so now we can start. So go to the left, jump up, try to avoid the hole right there where the two lasers are, um, and then interact with this switch. We need to grab the um, spring, but we actually need to put it um, down in the bottom. So ignore what I'm doing, sorry. Hello, welcome back. So you need to grab the spring and then not do that. Again, if you do manage to die, it's fine. We literally start at the beginning. We haven't gone too far in, so we should be good just to go back, um, interact with the switch again, and grab the spring. But yeah, you need to put the spring into where the two lasers are eventually. Come on, you big butt snatch. Right, there we go. So that's that one done. Um, obviously, we can't grab it for now, so we're going to have to move on and come back to that later. So go through the door. And... Um, this time we're going to be doing a little bit of manipulating playing. So, because of course we've got a door that we need to um, do and mess around with. So that small piece we can now put on the left hand side where the connection is. Go back in and then just climb back up the ladder. And we can now turn the switch off and grab the spring and go back through to the left hand side door. With that we're going to um, connect the two springs together with the sockets and go back out. Go back out. Sounded like friggin' Blippy then. <laughs> Only parents will understand how angrily annoying Blippy is. Anyway, jump down the ladder and we've got this uh, small section once again to do. So jump up, jump up, jump up and away. And when we get here, we can jump up until we're on top of the sort of window type door thing and then just press the uh, Y button to go up. Now put this up as far as you can. Uh, that is as literally as far as it'll go. Now grab the piece from the right hand side. Now because what we have to do is be just quite careful. Uh, you don't want to go to, you don't want to go through the window and then end up hitting the laser. So just make sure that the, I mean with this piece you can't do any more. But just make sure to click on it to make sure that you are, that when you drop down you won't go straight into the laser. So as you can see if I drop down now, I will go straight into laser. So it, it's more a case of just placing everything until it's perfect enough or, you know, good enough so that you're not going to drop. Although apparently um, I even <laughs> I didn't drop down into the laser. So, well, that's good then. Right, so moving on anyway. Um, jumping up, we're going to go uh, up the ladder this time. There we go. Go through the left-hand side door again. Now, it is a lot. These puzzles are very confusing in terms of you've got to go back and forth and back and forth with the same pieces. But make sure you grab the spring and that, that spring is whole. Your bloody spring hole. 
drop back down. And we're going to end up in this section again. So just go straight through the door on the right. Jump up here, but do not uh, spring yourself down. This time, press the Y button to go back out. You can stand here, uh, but just do not spring yourself up. It doesn't matter if you do end up springing yourself up. You can just uh, sort of drop back down after rearranging some puzzles. Uh, but put the puzzle that was on the L shape to the right, and then grab the big uh, piece and pop that one down instead. Now, what we need is to get it in such a way that we can spring ourselves all the way, um, basically, up to the top to exit the level. So, uh, again, nothing can kill you, but we are just needing to place everything so we can go it right to the very top of the big piece, which should be about there. That should be fine. Uh, you got a lot of room to maneuver and wiggle yourself in, so that should be golden as dandy balls. I like me some dandy balls. Right, drop the spring, we'll come back to you a little bit later on. Go down to the bottom right hand corner, and now we're going to be grabbing L key. So this bit does take a little bit of time, so again, avoid the spikes if you can. If not, don't worry, just go past them again. Um, interact with the lever, and then what we can do is push the box onto the newly found, newly formed ground. Interact with the lever again, and that'll put that box down. See, physics are just fantastic. Right, um, interact with the box, push that one down to the ground again, make sure not to, not uh, going all the way past the box, otherwise that'll be certain death. There is a secret room right here where we're standing now, so make sure, if you, know, if you don't care about secret rooms, obviously skip it by about 20 or 30 seconds. But if you want a new funky hat, we're going to go down to the secret room, jump down, push the boxes all the way to the right, mostly to the right, jump up, interact with the lever, jump up again, and then you can get yourself a new hat. We've got a Vegeta-style haircut, which, uh, hey, man, I'm looking quite fan right now. So that's who we're staying as, apparently. Jump over to the left. We are staying as pure Vegeta. Vegeta Vagina. Apparently, if I was Australian again, for some particular reason. Anyway, box to the left. We can now jump back up and push this box down so that it blocks the laser. And that is... Hecarat. So jump up on the platform to the left, grab the spring, jump up, uh, connect that one, and then go down, connect it to the one at the bottom, which will open up the door for us going, let's go to the right. Now again, this one does take a little bit of time, and we got a little bit of door manipulation to do. So, first things first, connect the two dots there, and then with the door, we're going to go on the sort of left-hand side piece. Uh, after we connect that up, of course. So, connect that left-hand side piece up, and then we can use the door piece that we are in to go onto that left piece. So, jump down, and they go through the right-hand side door. And then we can jump down. We've got the spring, and then what we can do... We're not actually going to connect them up yet, so we're just going back the way we came. And now we can jump down, interact with the bottom spring, and then interact with the top uh, spring socket as well. So, that will open up the mechanics... Uh, Mechanism there so we can now use the two to the top two pieces so <clears throat> Grab the one with the door push that out the way for now and then just get rid of the line so that it uh, the, the connect the dots so that it resets everything the one with the door with that we are in uh, Just push that up a little bit and the top right one We're going to push down and get the doorway going so that we can uh, go into this particular piece Eventually Really don't know why I'm pissing about with it this much, to be honest. Anyway, grab the other piece and then <laughs> put it over to the right-hand side. So what we can do is connect the dots to open up the two doors. Um, Again, not sure why I'm taking so long with this one, but make sure to connect those two dots with the ladders as well. And the left and right hand bottom ones connect those two up to open up the doors as well. So that is why I was pissing about. So go through the door, grab the key, and open up the right hand side door. Then we can grab the spring and then go through that. There we go. And then just connect the two sockets together here for now. And we'll come back to this one later on. Jump down the ladder. Grab the next spring. And this time, we are just going to be going straight through the door again. So it's not even at this time. It's again, we're going through the door, dropping down, interact with the springs, the sockets. And that is what we'll get the next mechanism open. I believe. I believe. I believe. 
So grab the uh, top left one and make sure to pop that one down uh, into the sockets right there. And then it's basically, it was basically like a puzzle then, sorry. So that is what that should look like. That is how you get the mechanism open um, by connecting all the puzzle pieces. And then we have just basically reset everything. So now we can use the other pieces. But just go to uh, 10130 to see the final uh, to see the finished product and moving on here. Come on then, Vegeta K Carrot Cake. So now we can grab the key when we go through and go through the left-hand side door this time. Again, make sure to grab the spring. And there we go. This time we can interact with the two sockets at the top. Let's get those ones all done. Grab the next spring, go through the bottom right door. And then we can interact with these two sockets as well. Drop down the ladder, grab this next spring. Into, finally, we can interact with these two springs and then go back out. And then basically what we're doing, again, is just the sort of puzzle in terms of um, putting everything together in order to... I think this will be the last bit. So the piece that we're on, grab that one on the right-hand side. The one on the left, grab it so it's on the right-hand side. And that is Murder She Wrote, All She Wrote. So let's just uh, get rid of the connect the, the dot line there at the bottom. Um, grab the uh, one with the key in it and the door. Let's just put that over to the middle. The one with the, the, the one with the door that we are on. Let's put that on it so we can now move in, grab the key, and get out. And that is all murder she wrote again. Well done, Vegeta. Your powers are actually useful now. You shouldn't lose this time. No, I'm just joking, of course. Vegeta's awesome, right? Honestly, I've never seen Dragon Ball Z, so uh, you think I really shouldn't be able to make the reference if I haven't seen it, but um, I know it's going to shock a lot of people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, going all through the left, we are now back in the position that we're in, the sort of main hub area. So now we can open up the door on the right, which we can now grab the spring, pop that one in, do the jump of life up, uh, grab the block so we can put that all the way up to the right. And then just jumpity, 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 do, jumpity, yeah, it'll suck them up, pubes. Right, go through the top right-hand door. Now, this is the final one that we're getting, the antenna. Right, this bit is uh, particularly tricky, but interact with it first and go down. Then jump over, press the Y button so that you stop. Um, hit it over to the right socket, jump over again, and then press the Y button to stop. Then click it over to the bottom one again. Of oh, the left one, sorry, the left socket. Whoops. And then we can jump up and go up the elevator. So go through to this bit, press Y, uh, hit the right socket again. And then go back out, press the left socket again. Jump up. Again, press the Y button. Now what we're going to do is go over to the right socket, uh, the, sorry, the top socket this time. So go into the top socket, jump and then make sure to press Y so that you stop in the midair again. Get it out and then keep it in the middle. That is how you do that bit. Um, you can grab the key. You can grab the key from here, pressing the B button, that's fine. Jump up on the platform and then put it on the top socket once again. Be very, very careful. I died here again. I pushed too forward. Uh, I pushed way too past, um, way more forward past the box than I anticipated and that is what killed me there. But that is how you do that bit then. Through the door, grab the antenna. And that is the next bit done. Gah, fantastic. So now we can jump down. Um, and just go down the ladder. And slot this bad boy in. So we've got two left now. So we're getting, getting through it. 
But again, I hope that this uh, guide so far, let's just jump all the way up and go to the left. Basically, we're going to be doing the whole train section after a couple more little platformy bits again. But again, I, I hope that this guide has been so far helpful and it hasn't been too fast. I know there are guides out there that literally just bombed it and I just I can't do it. You can't pause every two seconds to go... Oh crap, did I just do the same as this guy? Did I just do the same as that guy? So I'm hoping that the commentary's helped and that the guide has been at a reasonable pace for you as well. Please let me know if it has or if it actually sucked donkey balls. Uh, you know, I'm always open to criticism. Um, right, so 772, you know the drill by now. Chuck that one up, interact with the top one, and enjoy for a second. Enjoy the momentary peace. So this is the main sort of last big puzzle style. Obviously it's the biggest one of the game, so it's going to take around 15 minutes-ish, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, this is the main one. So now this is a new mechanic. Basically, if we paint this um, room green or yellow or whatever the bloody colour that is, when you're in this room and you can change the path between doors, you will not be sent back to the starting room. So when you're in this room and you change the uh, doors and connectings like we have done, you do not get reset and get sent back to the starting room. You stay in that room, which of course will come in incredible handy later on. So we're coming up to another secret room, the fifth and final secret room. So jump in between the saws, interact with the laser at the lever on the left, jump back down, and right in the middle of the room, or right at the right-hand side, sorry, is the last and final ladder. So, let's do a little bit of secret rooming, shall we? This is actually my favourite, um, my, my favourite hat, because it's my most favourite one. I'll, I'll tell you why now, anyway. So, grab the block, push it down, and push it on the laser. So, of course, we're not going to die, even though we're Vegeta, and we never die, apparently. Um, unless Vegeta's died. Has Vegeta died? I don't know. I'm sure Dragon Ball Z fans will tell me and be like, I can't believe I haven't even seen one. My God, am I a virgin? Yes, I am. With two kids, I am pure virgin. So, put the block at the top right anyway with the laser, and now we can grab this block, push that one down all the way to the right, push it down and that so that it bounces up for us right there, and then what we can do is just jump up onto the right-hand side one, and there we go. So that is how we get all of the five secret rooms. Again, you really don't have to do this if you don't want, but look, <laughs> look, look, look. I'm not your chef, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. I'm not your guy, buddy. I'm not your chef, friend. Look, we are a Canadian from South Park. It's fantastic. Uh, sorry to all the Canadians that don't like uh, South Park and get offended. I hope you don't get offended. It's all satire and it's all fun. But for the rest of the game, we are going to be a Canadian, uh, a Canadian from South Park. So, hey, that's awesome, yeah? I'm not your friend, yeah? I'm not your buddy, friend. Right, anyway, jumping up now. Let's, <laughs> we'll stop pissing about. Right, 399, so it's exactly the same as the, the uh, ones with the train. Top one goes in 100s, middle one goes in 10s, the bottom one goes in 1s. So, when we've done this, just jump yourself all the way up to the ladder, press the top button, and that is where we can move on. Right, so let's do this thing, man. So we're going to be coming up to one of the biggest and probably most confusingest puzzles, the final one, because of course it is. So anyway, uh, these next few bits are very simple anyway. Uh, we'll just um, complain about that when we get there. So uh, connect the left one with the bottom one, and then make sure to put the yellow spray paint on the bottom one right there. So we can go through it, interact with the lever, jump back out, and then connect the dots there. So like I said, we can do that now without being reset and restarted. Which means we can jump up, jump on the pad and go up. Again, that comes in handy. And it would have come in handy a lot earlier. So why not do that now, game? Why now? Why not at one hour and five minutes ago? Anyway, here we go. Jumping up. This bit again. 
it's nice and chill, nice and easy. Everyone's having a good time. Nobody's crying. Nobody's getting pissed off. Too much, I hope. Pissed off. Even though, like I said, we are buddy friend. Right, let's get out of this one, guy. Okay, friend. So, let's see what we're going to do first. We're going to grab the yellow paint, put it on the left-hand side one with the one that we're already in, and move that one over until we can basically just jump through the window and go into the next room. And then what we can do, uh, go back out, grab the next um, puzzle piece, and then move the one that we're already in, just over to the left, ever so slightly. Move the nozzle so that now we are in the green painted room. And that basically slaps off the uh, laser. That basically turns the lever off because, of course, the puzzle, puzzle technically reset. That's why we could do that. So, connect the two dots to the right. And then put the yellow paint. I th it looks green to me, but people keep telling me it's yellow. So, that's what we're doing. So, put it into the right one and go in there anyway, for end. And then to connect the... The one dot from the left all the way to the right one that we're in. Again, not being reset comes in handy. That puts us all the way over to the left-hand side now. Yeah. Now, uh, put the paint nozzle to the left-hand side one, the one that we're already on. And then connect the two dots with the two that were already there. So we can go into the middle room, jump down, and that's us, buddy. Right, so here we are. Another little bit for us to do. Enjoyable. So, we need the key. So, we're going to put the key just over to the right-hand side. <clears throat> so, connect the two bottom ones right there, the dot to dot. Grab the paint nozzle, put it in the room with the key on the bottom right-hand side. So, drop down, go through, pick up the key, and now go back out. I say back out as in pressing the Y button to do this, connect the dot stuff. Top left to the bottom right with the one that we're in. Now, we can move out. And go to the top left, go back, uh, head back out again. And then use paint nozzle on the one that we're in again. So the top left. And then move the bottom left one sort of over to the right, basically. So where it's in the middle for the second, uh, just for a second. And then connect the two dots from the bottom door to the one that we are in right now. And then the one on the right hand side over to the left hand side. So it, we're basically um, switching it up right now. So... Go into that room again, and then put that put that one on the left all the way over to the right. So, of course, we just connected them, so they still should be connected, so we could have moved on. Interact with the lever, and then go back out once again. Put that paint nozzled one over to the left-hand side, the yellow one. Go over to the left, go back out again. <laughs> it's a lot of back and forth, this one. The top one, interact with that and put it to the uh, yellow one that we're on so that we can go through that particular door and we can jump up, go through the door and that bit is finally over. So yeah, these ones are slightly more confusing, but it is fine and dandy, right? Right, mate. So here we go, climbing up the ladder, we're going to jump up and we're going to go back down the right hand side ladder, jump down, down, down. Again, try to avoid the laser. Shouldn't be too bad if you do die, though. You can just climb back up the ladder and back down. Um, put the block sort of in the way of where the gap was on the floor there. So that way we go back over this room. Click the, sw uh, the switch on the left-hand side and go back down. The block should now be blocking the laser's path. So we can go down, jump up, and grab the key. So that's that bit done for this particular Rosen. So anyway, head back down the left-hand side ladder. And head yourself through the right-hand side door. Jump down. Interact with the lever. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up, guy. Ah, oh, you're not telling me what to do, buddy. Anyway, and then we can just jump up. Burn up, burn up, burn up, guy friend. I don't know why that chef hat makes us look like a Canadian from South Park. But it's so awesome. And I'm, I'm just in love with it. It makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. Right, so this is the main sort of hub section, what we're going to do. Now, we've got three things we need to be grabbing. And the first thing we're doing is going through the bottom left-hand side to grab the key. Rolling, rolling, rolling. So, just drop down again, go through the left-hand side to get the key. And now just head to 115.56 to see the finished product.
So, let's do this thing. So drop down, go through the right-hand side door, jump up through the ladder, and grab the key. Jumble El Downerini, Mr. Flandobini, go through the door and head back down the ladder. And uh, now we're going to go back out. And then what we're going to do now is grab the paint nozzle, or the yellow paint nozzle, and put it in the room that we are in, on the bottom right-hand corner. Move the next one to the left of us, just over to the left slightly. And uh, sort of line us up there. It makes a difference. You don't have to be perfectly in line with everything. So grab the, the connector dot on the right to the one above on the um, left-hand side. Yes, on the left-hand side. Then the two doors at the bottom of where we are, just so that the doors are open. And that should be pretty much golden. In fact, no, that's what we're doing. So we need all the three doors open. So, so uh, sorry about that. So we're grabbing the one that was in the middle to the bottom right so that we've got three doors that are open for us. Took my time getting uh, that one there, sorry. So through the right-hand side and up the ladder to grab the next key to drop down and then back through to the left, drop down again. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Hey, come on, yeah. Uh, friend, what you doing, friend, buddy? Right, there we go. So we got there eventually. So now we can just go through and that <laughs> ends that particular section. So, well done, friend. Right, when we are here then, we're basically back, go, going back to the main hub. So just go, um, drop the key right here and then go through the bottom right-hand door. There we go. So now when we are here, we can just drop down and interact, uh, go uh, back out. Put the smaller piece on the right-hand side and the bigger piece on the left. And then just um, interact the uh, with the paint nozzle there so that the smaller room is paint id. Then we can just drop down, go through the door, and then jump up. Oh, in fact, no, we're not jumping up yet. What we're going to do is connect the one uh, dot from the left-hand side to the right one. So that we end up at the bottom of this particular section. Do the block. Uh, make sure to push that one through. Of course, we need this, otherwise we're not reaching our little uh, chef, buddy. Ha, ah, little chef, yeah. Oh, uh -huh, excuse me. So, pushing the block all the way back out to the left, and then get back into the painted room so we can do a bit of manipulating and a bit of changing. So, um, grab... Yeah. Oh, in fact, no, make sure... Yeah, it's all good, so... Yeah, uh, we should have been good. We just reset the block so that it was actually on the path there. That's what we've done there. Right, so when that bit is done, we can now just head back through. Obviously, again, stay in the painted room. And then we can connect the dots, putting the yellow paint into the bigger piece now so that it does actually reset us and it resets us from the top. So we can just drop down, push the block through to the left. And Bob's your nanny and uncle's your fan. Fanny's your aunt or something. Ah, gum. Damn it, I don't know. Anyway, grab the key, and now we can actually jump up. There we go, there we go. And that is what will get us through, and the key section is now complete. So we've got about 25 minutes or so uh, left to do now, and that'll end the game. So, jump up, go through to the left, because we've got the key, then interact with the lever, the switch, to just nip on by. Welcome to my beautiful recipe, Italiano, huh? Anyway, jump all the way down and go to the left. Mm, Italiano, I love me an Italian. So that should unlock the Skyline Cake achievement for us. So, once we are here, just go to... Well, let's not just go to anything. We're just going to move that. Again, we're going to do a bit of manipulating. So, um, open the doors. Connect the two dots to open the doors. And then use the yellow-green paint nozzle on the smaller piece. And then we can just jump back in. And go through, make sure again that you're in the painted zone. Interact with the lever. And jump back out. So there we go. When, when, uh, once we are done here, connect the bottom one to the room that we are in. That, and that will reset everything except the lever, which will always come in handy. Move that over so that you've got a solid black line in between there. And then move this piece just down a little bit on the left-hand side. 
Um, in fact, what we're doing is moving that at the bottom and then moving the bigger piece sort of just above it right there. So then, of course, what we can do is interact, connect the dot to dot, get the ladders on the go. And then our piece, we're going to move to the left slightly so that we've got a solid black line in the, in the two dot to dot so that we can just jump down, press the Y button. Very important to press the Y button right there. And then grab the uh, nozzly piece. Eventually. Uh, grab the... you got to grab the e the other end, which for some reason, once again, I'm struggling to comprehend with. Doi! There we go. So we get there eventually. So grab that there so that we've got a full solid line so that we do not die, which will always come in handy. Then we can jump down the ladder. There is another solid line there, so now we can push the block from the right-hand side. So let's do this, mama. So keep it in the sort of middle. Of course, what that's going to do is end up blocking the laser for us, which would be nice. J um, go back out. Um, and then just move the smaller piece just above. And then with the nozzle piece, pop that down on the bottom one. Like so. Again, it, 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 these levels did, these were the ones that sort of confu <laughs> confused me the most a little bit, to be honest. Did get confusing, but there we go. So connect the dot from the one that we're in up to the sort of small left one that we end up having to reset ourselves in. And what will be, will be, we've reset ourselves now. Interact with the lever so that the block falls down, go through to the right-hand side. And that is that particular arrow, section arrow, done arrow. So when we get here then, just go to 123.40 to see the finished product, so we can move on. Right, so let's do this thing, buddy. Okay, friend. So drop down, go through to the right-hand side door, so we're into the bottom painted room, and interact with the lever. Uh, jump back out there. And then, um, in fact, let's go back into the room on the left, the sort of bigger piece. And then connect the two dots there from the top green piece of the room that we're in. That is going to actually reset us to the top, which would be nice. So jump back down. Push the block and push it over to the right-hand side. So that it is down there, so that makes us all good, I suppose. But we're going to drag it all the way to the right-hand side. That should put us now up to the top of the yellow painted, green painted mustard face. Interact with the switch. That's going to get the laser going again. Again, all comes in handy. But then what we're going to do is um, we've got the block. Now, don't worry, you won't actually get sprung up, but you can actually jump and you will will not die. I was a bit hesitant, I've got to be honest, at this part, which is why it's taking me so long to do it. But uh, yeah, you can ju just tap the A button and you should be absolutely fine. So grab the key and just go through over to the next door. And then, of course, we're going to leave the key in that particular room, so we're going to come back to that later on. Um, jump back out and then grab the bottom piece with the... If, well, if we could, we've got to move the big piece over. So, interact, connect the dots there so that we reset at the very top. Jump back down, grab the key. Um, go into the bottom one and then interact with the lever. And then what we can do is um, grab the second one to put it down on the bottom one. So that the room that we're in now is all painted. So that we can jump up and then that should be the two lasers all done and dusted with. So now with the top piece, drag it over to the left-hand side. That should now put us at the top. So once again, we're going to drop down, go through the right-hand side. That should now put us in the room with the key, so we can grab that one, jump back down. And now we should be able to spring ourselves up and jump on through. Make sure, of course, to push the block out as well on your way out. Otherwise, you've just done all that for nothing. But you can actually go back through the door anyway, so don't panic your pants off about it. 
Alright, so once you're here then, what you can do is just leave it on this platform and it'll jump up. Jump up with the blocks and that should get us the spring chicken in of life. Now you put it in your Canadian soup, buddy. Yeah, but I'm not your friend, yeah? I'm not your guy, buddy. That's, I, I love it. I love it. Right, jump up. Um, put the spring on the top socket. And then we can just jump down all the way down put it on the bottom one. So there we go. We're getting to the point now. We are getting to the point where we're almost finished. So jumping up. Uh, go through to the left hand side door. Now this is where we're going to be getting the fan. Now this is coming up to where the puzzle really pith me off. There's just one particular section. Which is close to the end. But if you die by the laser. You kind of get confused. And it's a bit of a way to... Just sort it all out again, and it just pisses you off, as I said. Right, so it's not this bit anyway, so this bit is fine. So for now, what we can do is just head to 127.35 to see the finished product. So when we get to this bit then, we're going to jump down and go to the ladder into the yellow painted bit and interact with the lever. And then we can just go back out. Um, push that bit down, push the painted bit down uh, a little bit again. And then the middle piece, put it, um, connect the dots with the piece that we're at now so we can jump up. And then jump up and go ahead and grab the key. So jump uppity uppity up, up your mother's butt, don't go too far. Otherwise, well, you'll be inside your mother and nobody likes that. <laughs> Gross. Right, back out then. Connect the two dots at the top so that the doors open for us. And then we can just push the block through. And again, because that is a laser, so that's going to come in handy for us in terms of non-death. Jump back out. Grab the nozzle piece from the bottom and put it to the room that we're in right now. So again, of course, that it's a reset, to reset the laser and everything. Grab the piece from the right and put it onto the left and connect the dot with the room that we're in right now. So that, of course, we can jump through and make sure to grab the block on your way through as well. And, and that is how you do that bit. Nice and cheesy. Etc. or something like that. So here we are then. This is the... Uh, main bit that we've done, so open up the door on the right, and then go through the left, because we're going to be, have to be grabbing another key now. So, this, so then, this was the part that actually just confused me. So, let's grab the, um, connect the dots from the bottom to the piece that we're in now, and we're going to nozzle the bottom piece again. So, make sure that the bottom piece is all deliciously painted green. So, head down the ladder, interact with the lever... And go ahead yourself back up. By the way, the, the mechanism would have been on for you by now. Um, um, it, it's only... Uh, this is basically an edited bit, which is why uh, the mechanism is already open for me. But I'm going to show you, obviously, how to do it anyway. So grab the door piece and put it on the top so we're on top of the platform. And then jump back out. And then we're going to disconnect that bit. So we reset, which is absolutely fine. So what we're going to do, uh, basically the spring goes back on top as well. So that is what we're doing. Putting the door section over and we can jump up. And now we should be able to connect, collect and connect the spring up to the left and one at the bottom there. And then with that one piece, we can now just connect that piece up. And now the mechanism should start opening up for you. And now we should be definitely on the same page. But yeah, this bit... Really royally done my old fat, small, tiny nipples in. So, grab that same piece and just put it all the way down to the left-hand side, bottom corner for now. And put this piece, the already painted piece, sort of in the middle of the mechanism. Sort of, uh, again, doesn't matter where it is. Doesn't have to be perfectly placed. But that painted piece, make sure that you have a nice connect. Uh, connect the dot to dot to the bottom piece. And then just move the top piece up there as well. And uh, connect the pieces from the top one to the right hand side one. Again, move that so you've got a nice solid black arena line aroni. 
So we can now uh, swiftly move on. Uh, well, not that swiftly, apparently. Right, with the nozzle, just turn that off. We don't need that one for now. We should be as golden as nuggety balls. But now we can reset, and now we can go down the ladder, interact with the lever. That obviously turns the laser off. And then with the paint nozzle, put it onto the room that we are in right now. Buddy. And then we can climb <laughs> back up the ladder and go back out. Right, with the uh, room that we're in with the door, now we're going to place it on the bottom of the platform of the sort of one that's in the middle, the uh, piece that's in the middle, so that we end up where the laser was, but in the door. What that'll do is go through the door on the right, grab the key and go back. Now, what we need to do, very, very important this bit, uh, as to not completely mess and totally balls everything up, though you have to start again. Uh, we can go back out, uh, but we need to actually drop the key so that it's blocking the laser from us. So that this bit is highly important. Like I said, everything will reset except the rearranged puzzle pieces. So that is why we just need to do this, and that's why I'm kind of taking my time. So the one with the door, we're just going to put in the top right-hand corner. The painted piece, we're going to keep... We're just going to keep it sort of there. Now, drop the key and go to the right, so that the laser is blocking the key. Because when we move that and put the painted piece on top of where we are, obviously that's blocking it and we don't die. So, with the piece on the right, um, connect the dots so that we can move through um, and basically end up in the restarting room. Head down, turn the laser off, jump up to the left, and now we can grab the key. And finally, the most confusing puzzle, or for me, the game is more or less done. It is basically done now. So thank, honestly, thank Jeebus Balls for that one. But that one's done. We can now jump down, go to the switch, and the um, with the two doors, we can now grab the fan. And this part is basically done. Now we've got like a first person view to do. And thankfully, the game will be over. But there we go. We can now grab the fan, head to the right. And then finally, we are we are done. We can just jump down. We are like I said, we are done with this particular section anyway. So we still got one more left to get, but we've basically got ten minutes of the game left. Um, so now we can just jump up and head up the ladder, and life is good. Now a bit earlier on, I said we had about twenty-five minutes of gameplay left. That is until I realised I hadn't edited everything down properly. So. Yeah, if I if I uh, sounded like a bit of a moron, then well, you're probably right. <laughs> Sorry, I just seen in the background meat grinder Jim. <laughs> I know what that means. That either means you've got dudes on bench press putting their balls in your face, which is pretty pretty um pretty common practice. Even though you try not to, you just can't help it. If you want those, if you want that extra rep, you gotta suck my balls, or at least sniff them. God damn. Right. Anyway, <laughs> what we need? Jump up. And of course, we need 444. So when we got 444, we can now jump up and just wait for the next part of life. And this is the final next part of life then. So we're going to be doing, we're going to be playing in a bit of a first person mode now. Um, if you want to sprint, just click in the left stick once and you'll start doing like a proper Usain Bolt epic sprint. Uh, but now we've got our South Park chef buddy. What you can do is actually put him onto stuff and still do puzzles. So you press the B button <clears throat> to pop him on. And then, like I said, now we're playing as the pedestrian's view, the pediatrician's view. Not the pedo attrition, no, because that would be disgusting. And also, who would ever release a game like that? So anyway, um, plug it in, and then what you need to do, again, you can press the Y button to go in and out, just like we've been doing, playing the game. Drop him down, press the B button, and then we can move on. Press the B button again, and that'll sort of suck him back into our little gadgety de Game Boy device. Again, sprint by clicking in the left stick. The Game Boy, that's uh, seen better days, I assume. Again, just like in the other world, pressing the B button is the thing that we interact with. So, heading up these steps right here. 
I mean, really, uh, and then going down these ones. I'm, I'm thinking he could have found these little pieces himself, or you literally could have bought it off Amazon or something. But, you know, what do I know? I suppose you don't uh, get a game that way, do you? Um, now, just follow these, uh, this sort of linear path for now, and we see these four blueprints on the wall. So, again, we're going to press the B button to get our Mr. Pediatrician guy back in. Connect the two dots on the right, the two at the top. And that should be that. Now we can jump in again, pressing the Y button. Uh, grab the block. So uh, just enough so that we can just jump up. That's all. Boop. Boop. And there we go. So we can now jump back out and suck him back in. Again, pressing the B button. Head towards the opposite side of the rooftop. And again, we're just going to be doing this a couple of times, sort of uh, going a bit back and forth. Head to the right and up this uh, sort of stay, stay, whatever. And there's a box just by the open window. Make sure not to trip, fall, and die, because you would have done that all for nothing. Uh, but basically, just place it right here, right underneath where the where the arrow is. Oh, uh, excuse me, oh my god. Anyway, head back to the left, underneath this part. And we're going, basically, we're just going back to the blueprint, is all we're doing. Man, imagine if you got this far and you just tripped and died off the rooftop anyway. Man, you would be so pissed off. But it's not funny, of course. Death is never funny, unless it happens to pedophiles, of course. Uh, right, anyway, jump all, all the way back up. This is just facts of what I'm saying. Heading into the left side blueprint now, and up. And then we can climb back down the ladder. Uh, ladder. Of course, these puzzles are extremely easy, so we're all good. Now we're going to grab this key, uh, drop it on the platform, and then press the B button on the switch to pop that boy up. And we need to um, suck our little Canadian friend off again. Uh, back in, sorry. Ooh. <laughs> well, I'm sure a whole bunch of Canadians wouldn't mind that, being sucked back in. Anyway, getting off track again. Here we go, back into the same part we just were with the box, because we're going to be going to be grabbing that same box. Apologies, by the way, my English seems to be more moronic English uh, today, whatever that means. Right, anyway, back to the blueprinty section. And past it, we need to go back down the steps or these little metal grates, whatever it is. And we need to place the box just to where the arrow is on the right-hand side there. You should only have one place that you can put it. Grab the key box, or the box with the keys, whatever. Place it around and place it on the sort of, um, sort of second arrow if you're going from left to right. Or the third arrow, sorry. Yeah, close enough. So the third arrow, right there. Again, I think it just automatically gets placed there anyway, so it should be fine. Back to the blueprints. Uh, press the white button, of course, to get back in. That'll drop us a nice box for us and the key, heading us up to the top right-hand corner, um, getting us going again. So once again, we need to get our little Canadian South Park chef buddy and go back to the way, uh, go back the way we came. So this time we're heading to the left, up the steps and through the already open gate and through the door. So now we can just head back down. We literally just have minutes left now. So we are almost at the end, which is a bang toidy. Uh, you don't need to go all the way down here because of course you can't go through, but there is a door just on this floor that we can go through. Head all the way to the end of the corridor. Again, ignoring all the aids and the small TVs that are about. That's a nice apartment. And here we go then. So we've got a couple of things we need to do. The first thing is switch that one up. Uh, switch the lever up. Uh, and again, lots of things that we can look at as well, and a uh, few things to interact with, but the most important ones are the ones that I'm going to do. So just here, next to the acoustic guitar, is a floppy dix disc. Oh, sorry, I got my uh, dyslexia up then. I mean my dyslexia. Anyway, go into the computer, insert your floppy... <laughs> insert your tiny floppy into the computer. Hey, I'm not a judge, you just do you, you do you, hon. Um, press the B button again to get back up. You don't have to look at it for ages. Go um, to the opposite side of the room. Press this big, giant red button. And now we're going to put our Canadian wind back in there. So, connect the dots. Jump up, and we're going to climb down the ladder. Of course, because again, there's not a lot to do. Uh, there is a key very well hidden behind the hidden note. So make sure to grab that key first, just behind the note. And then we can interact with the door and open that up. That basically tells us that's the end of the game. Um, we For some reason, we couldn't open this door. So just behind us, straight through, we had to get a South Park Canadian friend to open up the door for us. And this is basically it. This is the end of The Pedestrian.
So now you can just set off into the sun sail, the sunset even. See, I told you I've got moronic English on today. And there we go then, that should be the last achievement done then, guys and gals. Apartment, congratulations. Now, it's basically like the lost ending, isn't it? Like, oh, you were all dead all along. Unlucky Mecca. Right, but that is that thing, guys and gals. So that should be 10 out of 10 achievements. That is the pedestrian done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. I thought the game was really good, actually. Really enjoyed it. And I again, like I said earlier, I hope the guide helped as well in terms of the pacing of it, um, the commentary. I hope everything helped and that I didn't steer you wrong too much. If I did, then please just, you know, print a picture of my Welsh Hunter sign out and give it a punch or something. <laughs> but again, apologies if I did steer you wrong. Hopefully, it all went well, though. But again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend if you did find it helpful. Um, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And speaking of which, thank you so, so much to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just such legendary sons of legends. I love you. And that'll be that for me. So... That's Game Pass Challenge 3 done anyway, so thank you again so much for watching, guys and gals, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye-bye-bye, love.